Hey y'all, ready to dive into some juicy Dallas Cowboys updates? Here's a taste of what's cooking. Our boys are set to kick off the 2024 NFL season with a showdown against the Cleveland Browns right here in Dallas. Now, we're heading into training camp with a lineup that's looking a bit different. Tyron Smith, Tony Pollard, Tyler Biadas, and Dorrance Armstrong have all moved on, and we ain't seen any blockbuster signings to fill their shoes just yet. But hold on to your hats, because Trey Lance is getting a hefty share of preseason snaps, and he could shake up our quarterback situation. Plus, CeeDee Lamb is in a contract year and gunning for record-breaking stats. Will he stay with the Cowboys or make a big splash elsewhere? Buckle up, folks. This season's roster is about to get real interesting. All right, y'all, let's get into the latest buzz about our Dallas Cowboys. They're kicking off the 2024 NFL season with a showdown against the Cleveland Browns on September 8th at their home turf. Now, the Cowboys are strutting into training camp with a roster that looks pretty different from last year. We've said goodbye to Tyran Smith, Tony Pollard, Tyler Biadas, and Dorrance Armstrong thanks to free agency. And let me tell you, there haven't been any jaw-dropping signings or draft picks to fill those boots just yet. But don't you worry, there's still plenty of talent on this team. Sure, the losses mean we've got to be extra careful about injuries, but we've got some strong players ready to step up. Now, here's where it gets interesting. What if Trey Lance shines with all the preseason snaps he's getting? Could we see some trade action to bolster our lineup? And don't forget about Cooper Rush. With a 6-1 record as a starter, other teams might come knocking if they're in a pinch for a quarterback. So, folks, keep your eyes peeled and your ears to the ground. This season's roster might just have a few surprises in store. Let's see how our Cowboys shape up as they gear up for the 2024 season. Here is the 53-man roster projection. Quarterbacks, 3 Dak Prescott, Trey Lance, Cooper Rush. Y'all, here's the scoop on the Cowboys quarterback situation. We've got Dak Prescott, Trey Lance, and Cooper Rush in the mix. Now, depending on how them preseason games shake out, we might only see two of them sticking around. Lance is getting the lion's share of work to show what he's made of since he's a former number three pick. If he shines, who knows? He might just be the future quarterback for the Cowboys, especially with Prescott in the last year of his contract. Or maybe Lance becomes some valuable trade bait. Rush, who's got a solid 6-1 record as a starter, could also be on the trading block for teams hunting for a reliable backup. Ain't none of these fellas locked in for next season, so things could get real interesting down in Dallas. Hey y'all, let's chat about our running backs for the Cowboys this season. We've got four of them, Ezekiel Elliott, Rico Dowdle, Royce Freeman, and Deuce Vaughn. Now, in typical Cowboys fashion, we're looking at a committee approach. Who's likely to lead this pack? Well, it's probably gonna be Zeke. That man's got a nose for the end zone like no other, and his pass protection skills are just top-notch. Now, Vaughn, he's on the bubble, but the coaches are keen on finding ways to get him in on the action. They're scheming up different plays to see how they can utilize his talents best. Then we've got Hunter Lupke as our fullback. Coach Mike McCarthy, with his history of fullback usage, sees a lot of potential in Lupke. This guy's a solid blocker and can tote the rock if the situation calls for it. McCarthy's got a real knack for finding roles for players like Lupke, ensuring our offensive game remains strong and versatile. Wide receivers, 5 CD Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Jalen Tolbert, Cavanti Turpin, Jalen Brooks. Alright, folks, let's talk about them Cowboys wide receivers. We got CD Lamb and Brandon Cooks leading the pack, no doubt about it. But beyond those two, there's some interesting chatter. The Cowboys reckon Jalen Tolbert's ready to step up as their number three guy, and Jalen Brooks is right there in the mix to challenge for that spot too. Cavanti Turpin's another name to watch, he's shown he can deliver when his number's called, and his knack for versatility? That's a real treat. With the new kickoff rules in play, Turpin might just become an even bigger threat on returns. This Dallas Cowboys lineup's got folks buzzing for good reason. Y'all better keep an eye on this crew because they're fixin' to make some noise this season. But before we go any further with the news, if you share our passion for the Dallas Cowboys, don't miss any updates. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news, trade deals, and player highlights. Your support drives us to offer the best content about the Cowboys, so let's get ready for an exciting season together.
let's keep going. Tight ends, 3 Jake Ferguson, Luke Schoonmaker, John Stevens Jr. Jake Ferguson is riding high off a Pro Bowl season, showing he's got the chops to keep that ball moving. Luke Schoonmaker, bless his heart, needs to shake off that hamstring injury and step up in his second year. Now, John Stevens Jr. was real close to making the team last year before an ACL tear took him out of the running. But don't sleep on Princeton Fant, this young buck might just surprise everyone at camp. Offensive linemen, 10 Tyler Guyton, Tyler Smith, Brock Hoffman, Zach Martin, Terrence Steele, Shuma Adoga, Cooper Beebe, TJ Bays, Asim Richards, Nathan Thomas. Tyler Guyton, the hotshot first-round pick, better be ready to fill in those big shoes left by Tyren Smith. Brock Hoffman's got a leg up on Cooper Beebe for the center spot as camp kicks off. TJ Bass is a versatile fella, handling all three interior spots like a seasoned pro, while Asim Richards is pulling double duty at both tackle and guard. As for Josh Ball and Matt Waletsko, they're down to their last chance to leave a mark and make the cut. Defensive linemen, 9 Demarcus Lawrence, OSA Odegizawa, Motsi Smith, Micah Parsons, Sam Williams, Marshawn Neeland, Chauncey Gulston, Carl Davis, Viliami Fahoko Jr. Y'all, when it comes to the Cowboys' defensive line, Parsons might be wearing the linebacker hat, but he's got that edge rusher spirit. With new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer, Parsons is likely to be moved around more than he ever was with Dan Quinn. After a less-than-stellar rookie year, Motsi Smith is under the spotlight to step up his game. Yet, the Cowboys are still eyeing veteran defensive tackle options, which keeps Carl Davis in the mix for now. As for Fahoko, our fourth-round pick from last year, he's got to make a splash early since he didn't see the field much in his rookie season. Don't be surprised if he ends up as trade bait. Linebackers, 5 Eric Kendricks, Damone Clark, DeMarvian Overshone, Maris Lufau, Willie Harvey Jr. Now, Kendricks is the big shot this season, y'all. His deep understanding of Zimmer's defense makes him crucial at all levels. Overshone, who was showing some serious promise last summer before that ACL injury, is set to make a comeback with high expectations. Clark? It's his time to shine as a consistent playmaker. And don't forget, if the Cowboys decide to roll with six linebackers, Damian Wilson might just get that call up. Cornerbacks, 5 Trayvon Diggs, Darren Bland, Jordan Lewis, Kalen Carson, Garyon Conley. Well folks, here's the lowdown on our cornerbacks. Trayvon Diggs was off to a strong start before an ACL tear and practice benched him. His comeback is eagerly awaited by Zimmer's defense. Then there's Darren Bland, who led the NFL in interceptions last season and broke records with five touchdowns from returns. After these three, things get a bit uncertain. There's a chance Stefan Gilmore might return, which would shake things up. Garyon Conley, once a first-round pick, has been doing time in the UFL and just might snag that last spot over Eric Scott Jr. Safeties, for Malik Hooker, Donovan Wilson, Marquise Bell, Wanya Thomas. Now, let's talk safeties. Malik Hooker is our deep field guy, keeping things locked down. Donovan Wilson? He's the hard hitter with a knack for finding the ball. Marquise Bell shifted to linebacker last season, making a name for himself by finishing second in team tackles. And Wanya Thomas? He's versatile, handling multiple roles and being a key player on special teams. Specialists, for Brandon Aubrey, K, Brian Anger, P, Trent Sieg, Ellis, CJ Goodwin, C. Our specialists are a solid bunch. A year back, Brandon Aubrey was a USFL unknown, but now he's a record setter for the Cowboys. Brian Anger, with two Pro Bowl seasons, keeps the punts sharp. Trent Sieg is as dependable as they come. And C.J. Goodwin? He's more than just a cornerback, he's one of the top coverage guys in the league and a true leader for the Cowboys. Now y'all, grab your hats and settle in cause this Dallas Cowboys season is gearing up to be a wild ride. Whether it's the latest on Diggs' return, the rise of our safeties, or how our specialists are breaking records, you won't want to miss a minute. Hey y'all! C.D. Lamb, our star wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys, really tore it up last season. This 25-year-old powerhouse hit career highs across the board, snagging 135 catches, tops in the NFL, racking up 1,749 receiving yards, second best in the league, and nabbing 12 touchdowns, also second most. Folks around here knew he'd take that leap, and boy, did he ever! 
Now, he's seen as one of the NFL's elite. With a season like that under his belt, the buzz for Lamb's 2024 season is through the roof. Bleacher Report even called him out in a recent piece, saying he's on track to shatter the NFL single-season receptions record. Talk about setting the bar high, huh? They put him in their 10 Bold Predictions article, predicting he might just rewrite the record books. So, grab your popcorn and settle in, because if you thought last season was impressive, you ain't seen nothing yet. Big D's got big dreams for Lamb, and if anyone can knock Calvin Johnson's epic 1,964-yard season off its perch, it's this guy. Michael Thomas's 149 catch record from 2019? Well within reach for Lamb. Get ready for a wild ride, Cowboys fans. Last year, he was right on the money with 135 catches, lead in the pack in the NFL. Now, if he wants to be the first wide receiver to snag 150 in a regular season, there are three big things that'll need to happen. First off, Lamb's gotta average nearly nine catches a game. He and Dak Prescott were clicking real well towards the end of last season. In those last seven games, including the playoffs, he was hauling in an average of 9.4 yards per catch. Secondly, the Cowboys didn't really bring in much help for Lamb. He's been playing all 17 games for the past two seasons, and with Brandon Cooks getting a year older, there ain't a solid WR2 in sight. Lastly, Lamb's in a contract year. If he doesn't get an extension before the season kicks off, he'll be out to prove a point and send a clear message to the folks running the show in Dallas. Now, thinking about those points, if Lamb can play like he did in the last 12 games of last season, he's got a real shot at breaking some records. In those games, he racked up 108 receptions, averaging 9 per game. Over a 17-game season, that's a pace of 153 catches, which would bust Michael Thomas's record of 149. C.D. Lamb's set to do some amazing things this season and beyond. If the Cowboys got any sense, they'll make sure all that magic happens right here in Dallas. Well, folks, there was a good chance C.D. Lamb might be a no-show when the Dallas Cowboys rolled back into Oxnard for their 2024 training camp. See, he started his official holdout back in June, skipping the mandatory mini-camp. Now, as we're heading into late July, he and the team are still trying to iron out the details of his new contract. At just 25, Lamb's coming off a season for the history books. He ain't just the top dog in Dallas, but he's making a solid case as the best wide receiver in the whole dang NFL. Just take a gander at his stats, 1,749 receiving yards, 12 receiving touchdowns on 135 catches, plus he threw in two rushing touchdowns and even converted six rushing first downs. The boy can do it all, even lining up as a running back from time to time. With numbers like that, it's pretty much a given that Lamb's gonna be one of the highest paid receivers in the league, right up there with the likes of Justin Jefferson, who got his big payday with the Vikings earlier this summer. It's just a matter of time. Now, the last big holdout we had on the Cowboys was Zach Martin, our perennial All-Pro right guard. He finally showed up a few days into camp once his deal was sorted out. So, here's hoping Lamb's situation gets wrapped up just as smoothly, and we see him back on the field doing what he does best. Even though Martin racked up some hefty fines for his absence, ones that the league ain't about to overlook, the CBA gives the Cowboys a chance to wipe those fines clean if they decide to. Lamb's still hanging on to that rookie contract, thanks to the fifth-year option getting triggered back in 2023. Until this pro bowler is back on the practice field, where he's been putting in work with fellow All-Pro and Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott during the offseason, others like Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, Cabonte Turpin, and rookie sixth-rounder Ryan Flournoy will need to step up. They've got their chance to shine and prove themselves in the scramble for spots behind Lamb and Brandon Cooks. In April, Lamb was clear as day about his future with the Cowboys. He's ready to play and seize his holdout and the fines as just part of the game. Winning, I'm pumped about winning and being out there with my guys, making another run at this, he said. Yeah, I'll be in Dallas. The only thing left to figure out is when.